Hello and welcome to the CarMaker online tutorials. These videos will guide you through all components of CarMaker and provide basic information to get you started as a new user. The tutorials are designed for new users to CarMaker. They are supposed to convey basic information on all relevant topics in order for you to be prepared to work on your own. The entire course consists of several videos, each demonstrating a different CarMaker tool or functionality. Building up from very basic, general information to more complex topics, it is recommended to watch all videos in the given order. After completion of the online course, we offer power user trainings which focus on more specific topics and go into far more detail. These are held live by one of IPG's solutions engineers. That being said, I'd like to dive right in and get started with our first chapter, an introduction to CarMaker. As a new user, you might ask yourself, what is CarMaker? CarMaker is a virtual driving platform which allows you to integrate your own models, connect hardware, or even interface to a very large variety of third-party tools like MATLAB, ADTF, or GT Suite. Next to CarMaker, we offer TruckMaker and MotorcycleMaker, each for both office and hill applications. After a successful installation, your installation directory will be added to your PC in the form of an IPG folder. The installation directory contains IPG's example data like tests, vehicles, 3D objects, the generic virtual vehicle environment and everything that you require to be able to build your own virtual vehicle environment, including your own models. Please do not edit this data or make any changes to the folder structure. Your license file needs to be placed in the ETC folder called Licenses with a capital L and no file extension. Please note that you can install as many CarMaker versions as you want in parallel, but always be sure to use the same installation directory. Version-specific folders will be added to the CarMaker folder. By going to the bin folder of the version that you want to use and clicking on the cm.exe icon, we can open CarMaker main GUI. This is the CarMaker main GUI where we can see an overview of some of the available models. Now, everything is still grayed out because we haven't created a working directory yet. To do so, go to File, Project Folder, Create Project, and choose a name for your working directory. By clicking OK, we can create the project directory. And now you can see that all previously gray fields become active and we can start working. By opening the Windows Explorer, we can navigate to our project directory. This folder contains your test data, like tests and vehicles, and your virtual vehicle environment, including your additional models, software modules, and connection to your hardware. You can collect all project data in one place and easily exchange it with colleagues or project partners. Please keep your project directories outside of the installation directory. A project is designed to be used with one CarMaker version, but an automatic update mechanism is available to move to newer versions. Now as you can see, all fields are still empty. How to select each model individually and parameterize your own test run entirely will be demonstrated in the following videos. So for now, we're just going to learn how to access our product examples. By clicking on File and Open, a browser pops up. By a Product Examples, Examples, we can choose example test runs based on the fields of application. The example I'm going to show you is in Powertrain, Driving Scenarios, and is called City Driving. For more information on what this test run was designed to demonstrate, just click on Read More down here. This will open up our product examples documentation directly at the corresponding chapter and give you some info on what we're trying to demonstrate with exactly this test run. By clicking OK, I can load this product example test run. Now you can see that most fields have been filled with data, for example, the vehicle model that is being used, which tires the vehicle has, and the defined maneuver. By clicking on Start, we can start the simulation and see the status change.
After clicking stop, the simulation is ended prematurely and the status goes back to idle. Not only now, but also during the simulation, we have the possibility to change the performance by clicking on the arrow to open up this drop-down menu right here. Furthermore, we can specify whether we want to save the data generated by this simulation or just collect it in a buffer for the time being. If not necessary, try not to save all data since the option Save All saves very large amounts of data each time you click Start. That's why I'm going to leave it in Collect Only for now. For better understanding of what's happening in the test run, we can have a look at the animation. Therefore, I'm going to open IPG Movie via File, IPG Movie, and then start the simulation again. To do so, I can either go back to the main GUI and click on Start, as we've seen previously, or I can click on the Start button inside the IPG Movie window on the bottom right here. In the main GUI, we can see that the status has changed to running and that the vehicle is starting to move in IPG Movie. By clicking and holding and dragging the mouse over the IPG Movie window, we can rotate the camera and change the view on the vehicle. By scrolling back and forth, we can zoom in and out on the vehicle, and that's how we can adapt the view as we need it. To stop the simulation prematurely, again, I can go back to the main GUI and then just click on Stop. Please feel free to take some time to go through the other available product example test runs. So now that we've performed our first simulation, I want to show you the CarMaker documentation. By clicking on Help in the main GUI, you can access all of the available manuals. There are quite a few, so it's helpful to have a rough idea of what you can find where. First and foremost, the CarMaker release notes give you important information on system requirements, software compatibility, release history, and information on new features. The Quick Start, Quick Start Guide might be of interest to you as it gives an overview of the CarMaker environment for beginners. It's designed as a tutorial with many exercises. The CarMaker User's Guide gives detailed documentation of the handling of the CarMaker application and the product examples documentation is the one that we've seen previously. The CarMaker Reference Manual gives technical background on all models implemented in CarMaker and, very importantly, gives an explanation of all of the user accessible quantities. The Programmer's Guide gives information about the CarMaker program structure, how to use the CarMaker C code interface, and also gives an introduction to the CarMaker script control language and to CarMaker for Simulink. There are many more manuals, not to forget the ones under additional documents, so if you have any questions, lots of answers can be found here. I hope I was able to give an overview of CarMaker and the tutorials to come. Thank you for your time and enjoy learning about CarMaker!